Hi there. So we're back and this time I want to talk to you about a specific exercise we're going to do to help you invoke the remarkable. So the remarkable, things that are remarkable are, they're remarkable because they're heartfelt. Because some kind of connection was made. Um, and it could be that you went into this it could be it could what could be remarkable for you is that you walk into your home and without a thought your husband sees that you're tired looking and makes you a cup of tea so it, it's it's that cup of tea that could be remarkable in that moment right and it's the tea and whatever but really it's not the tea it's not the tea it's that somebody understood Right, that somebody got it, that somebody was paying attention and listened and did something. And it doesn't have to be grand, and it doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be anything, that, you know, sometimes it is, but often it's not. So today we're gonna to do an exercise to help you invoke the remarkable. And the point of it is to help you get into your heart. Because, and it's what we need to do when we care for people in healthcare. It's what we need to do when we act, interact with others in a work environment, regardless of what kind of company you work for, um, whether it's healthcare or whatever. But in, invoking the remarkable is about making connection. So I want you in this exercise to have a piece of paper next to you and uh, a pen, and we're gonna we're gonna do a little a little something. All right, so. Right now, I just invite you to take a moment to put your body in a comfortable position and just take a moment to close your eyes and breathe. <sighs> just take a deep breath and connect for a moment to the soft place at the center of your heart. And as you breathe, just imagine that you can send breath into your heart. And with every breath in, you just allow that heart to soften. And as you start to soften, it starts to just gently glow. Just a gentle glowing feeling, a warm glowing feeling. It lets you connect with the part of yourself that is wise, kind, and eternally plentiful. So now from this place, I want you to think of someone that you care about, that you are going to see sometime in the next 24 hours. Could be a friend, a spouse, could be a child. So just take a moment and write down on a piece of paper who you're thinking of. Just write down a person's name. And this is going to be the person that for today you're going to invoke remarkability. It could be a patient. It could be a mentee, someone who works for you in your office or in the field. And so now I just want you to put their, the presence of them in your mind and in your heart. And imagine their, their being and all that they are. And just ask yourself, what is it about them that you love? What do you love about them? Just take a moment to write down two or, thing, two or three things that you love, that you appreciate, that you see with loving eyes. Just write down two or three things. Why do you love them? What is it you love about them? And then just staying connected to your heart and imagining them in your presence. Ask them what makes them special or unique? What is it about them that's special? Just take a moment, is it something about the way they talk to you? Is it something about the way they work? Is it something about a passion or an interest they have? What is it about them that's special or unique? 
could be any small detail that you notice and find special. Just notice how it feels to revel in someone else's specialness. And now just ask yourself and don't get hung up on the answer. Just write down whatever comes to you. What is their gift to you? What is the gift they give to you? Just by being in your life. What is the gift they give to you? Probably lots of gifts. Pick one. And now just sort of drop into your heart a little deeper. Listening from within in a very gentle way. Just ask yourself, what would you like to express to them? What would you like to convey or say to them? What's deep in your heart that needs a voice? What's deep in your heart that needs a voice? Just write it down. What's deep in your heart that needs a voice? Now take a deep breath, thinking of this very special person again. Just think, what are their challenges and needs? What are their challenges and their needs? What are their challenges and needs? Write down three things that you can see are their challenges and their needs. Breathe deeply as you allow yourself to understand their challenges and needs. And now, just again, take a deep breath and allow yourself to just feel the lightness in your heart. And ask yourself, what are their dreams? What are their unspoken dreams and desires? What are their longings? Let your heart open to their deepest desires. Just imagine what it might be. Maybe you know, maybe you don't. Just imagine what that might be. Just write down at least one or two of their dreams and their desires. Okay, so now just drop into your heart again. Just take your hand and place it over your heart. It's right over your heart. Not very powerful center. It can guide you give you answers whenever you need it. And just ask yourself, just hear whatever comes, what could you do to express your love and care for them? What could you do to express your love and your care for them? What could you do to express your love and care for them? could be very simple. It could be just quietly listening and asking them about something. It could be a conversation that they need to ha you need to have. It could be doing something for them to help them with a need or desire. What could you do to express your love and care for them? And now finally, what could be one small, 
but remarkable act of kindness that you could give to them in the next 24 hours. Imagine you could sprinkle them with an act of kindness. What would that be? Great, so in the quiz below, I invite you to share with me what your small but remarkable act of kindness will be. And I'm going to tell you that the most amazing things happen when you do this exercise and you listen to your heart and you do whatever that heart says. Amazing things come. So, even though you might be out there to do a remarkable act of kindness for them, just be awake and aware of how it makes your life richer. Thanks for listening. See you later.